Hello YouTubers, my name is Attila Mate from Blue Sky Photography and today I'd like to talk to you about uh, something different. Uh, in this video I would like to share with you my setup, which one I used to use when I was shooting with film. Now, uh, I have to tell you that these cameras are very close to my heart and I think that I love them even now. It's a pity that uh, film is very expensive at the moment, you know, and it's... Uh, uh, well, not the film is expensive, sorry, the film is not expensive, it's cheap enough, but to develop the film it's very expensive, or you must have your own uh, small little darkroom, you know, to do that. And uh, unfortunately, I don't have that, so I have to send my films up to Dublin and to develop them, and that costs pretty much money, you know, a lot of money, so... I, I ended up not using these cameras, but I used to, to have these cameras like my, um, the main setup, you know, what I was using when I was shooting with film. And uh, on that time, uh, I was using Pentax, you know, I was shooting Pentax. And um, these cameras, I have two cameras, you know, two Pentax cameras, and uh, they are um, the Pentax MZ7. Now, these are the newer version of the, the Pentax film cameras and uh, they are kind of, um, we can call it automatic, you know, but it's uh, uh, obviously the, um, the lenses are uh, manual focus lenses, you know, so I was focusing manually. You can find that, you can put also on these autofocus lenses. I never used autofocus lenses. I think I had one, but I didn't like it, so I sold. But these lenses, you know, these uh, small primes, I tell you, they are just brilliant. I mean, it is brilliant. And uh, I, this, this camera, it was my favorite camera, my favorite film camera, I tell you. I used to love to shoot uh, black and white film with, uh, with these cameras and also color, but mainly I was shooting in black and white. And they, they are still okay, you can hear that, look. So it's um, the, the, the focus confirmation, you know, it will work on, on, the, on the camera. You could hear the beep sound, you know. So when you do the, the photo, you know, you just focus on it and then you can hear the focus confirmation. So it's, um, it's a nice memory, you know, and I, uh, I, have, I had this camera. This is a, a 28 millimeter lens on it, 28 millimeter F2 lens, sorry, F2.8. Yeah, so uh, this was the, the wide angle lens I using, I, sorry, I used to use. And in this camera, I used to have two primes uh, and the other camera, I used to have a zoom. So the second prime I used to have, it is this one. It is the 20, uh, 50 millimeter F1.7 from Ricoh. And this is a great lens, I tell you now. I have the adapter on it because this lens I still used with my uh, Sony cameras. And uh, this, this adapter is from Pentax lens to Sony E-mount. So I could use on the mirrorless cameras. This is the, the 50 millimeter lens, and I tell you, it is just an excellent lens. On uh, there you go, 50 millimeter f 1.7. Now these are the two uh, the two primes I was using with uh, one of the cameras, and uh, the second camera. The second camera I was using, it was the same camera like the other one. It was the Pentax MZ7, the same camera. Oh, I just take the flash of this. But this one has a 70 to 210 f4 zoom lens. Now, this lens was a great zoom lens, I tell you. And this zooming, it's not uh, turning, you know. Zo when you want to zoom, you have to push the ring forward or backward. And when you turn, it is focusing. So it's 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 a really interesting lens, I tell you. And and um, at the moment, you can buy a lens like this. You can buy with fifty, sixty dollar, you know, on the eBay. And they are great lenses, I tell you. And now this is also has some uh, automatic functions like the aperture. You know, if you shoot in aperture priority, sorry, the camera will recognize the lens, you know, and you can set the aperture directly from the camera. That's not a problem, but uh, you also can uh, set manually because it has the aperture ring over here on the lens. So this camera is also uh, functioning, still functioning. 
you can hear. It, it's um, sometimes I still go out and uh, I still shoot with black and white film and I tell you it is a joy. It is a real joy to use film. I, um, I think that uh, film has a specific look you know on the on the photos and uh, I loved it. I loved it. It's a pity that um, at the moment it's it's not possible. Obviously the digital cameras you know they are great and they are uh, it's easier you know because you just copy in your computer and you edit and you do whatever you want but when people are using film cameras I tell you it was it was much difficult. You must knew photography to be able to shoot with film. And today, you know, you take a mirrorless camera, you see what you get, you do the photo and that's it. But on that day when we, was, when we used to use the film cameras, I mean, you could, you could see nothing over here. It's, it's, it's nothing, there's no screen. You cannot see your photos until you get the pictures, you know. So you must be very sure, you know, when, uh, when you hit the shutter that the exposure is correct. You must have some knowledge, you know, that time you must, you must have some knowledge. This time, these, these days it's much easier, you know, to do like, like it was then. But anyway, I just wanted to show you guys the, my setup, what I used to uh, use. And I tell you, I love these two cameras, you know. Uh, they, are, they are excellent cameras, they are very, very good cameras. And the prime lenses... I, I, this, this 50 mm and the 28 mm I used to use with the Sony cameras, the Sony A7R. And it, well, the, the images were brilliant, very nice. I don't say now that it was the same uh, image quality like uh, a very good lens, you know, like from these days, the modern lens, no. But I think that these lenses, the old school lenses, you know, they have a different look. They have a different um, feel, you know, in the photo. That's what I think anyway. So this was just a short video. I, I wanted to show you guys my, uh, my old setup. I still have this and sometimes I just go out and shoot with it, you know, just for fun, obviously. And um, I hope that you like this video. If you like it, please like and subscribe and share my videos. And other than that, I wish you a nice day and I'll see you in the next one. Take care, guys.